What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, uh, we had a few battles. We had a couple of um, battles against the Russians around about this area. And we've been moving up a lot of troops, but nothing else major happened. And I think a big part of that is due to the fact that is this we have a huge empire. So if you're moving troops from Mr. Ankara up to into the Caucasus region, it takes a long time even with good infrastructure. Good infrastructure isn't what we've got, especially as I can now upgrade Chakask to Metal Broads, which I'll definitely want to do. And I also will want to take Crimea so I can just ferry troops across this gap and that might speed things up a bit, especially funneling troops from Turkey up into this area. Even then, maybe. The infantry can get to Istanbul in one turn and then up. Is that any better than... Hmm. Maybe. We're also pushing up in the Russian rear. So we're going to take Kazan away from Comrade Habersack. I've sorted out these towns. And this guy. We've got him deployed. That has Shashin. Yeah, no idea. You just keep... Keep doing what we're doing. We're still growing um, Islam. I'm trying to get rid of the last bit of religious unrest, although... That probably doesn't matter compared to the resistance to foreign occupation. But I still like to get rid of it. So let's hit in turn. Yep, my spies are always moving up. Yes, yeah, so the part of the reason why we have to build up our forces is build up our forces is because our enemies are doing the same. I probably Okay, who is that? Is that Mr. Mehmet here? Could I engage them all in a... But then again, they're not in the right... Hmm. I'm tempted to fight it, because even if it's not a bridge battle, it's... Well, even then, actually, our cavalry's quite badly depleted. I thought... Haven't you guys replenished? No, because I don't want to gamble on it being a bridge battle. So this time we're into being intercepted by... Abdul Hamid Hoka, which I'll definitely fight because that's a much stronger force. These guys, you know, too many men lost in too many important units. Like, I'll definitely want my cavalry to be up to snuff in case it's not a river, river battle. If it was, I'd be fine with what I've got. But I wasn't. Sometimes you can't. You don't ever really want to uh, guarantee. So I think we better fight it because then we can knock out quite a lot of these wandering stacks. So let's do it. Unless I've got them back to front, actually, and now we're fighting a bridge battle, which, if we are, great. If we're fighting a bridge battle, then this becomes just a slaughter. Charnel house. And we shouldn't... Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's no point thinking of a grand strategy for a river battle without even knowing it's a river battle. And it's not, understandably. Is the river somewhere over... No, I don't know. Either way, nice open flat field, and we know we've got a bunch of infantry coming in, but we also know it's not a full army, it's a small army. So we can make maximum use of our overlapping fields of fire. Golf, we can put all of our elite infantry on one flank. Let's put our janissaries on either side. Actually, we've still got a spare uh, unit of Israeli, so I'll put them on the right as well just to expand. Oh, one second, guys, the doorbell's ringing. Again. And we're back. I'm probably just going to let these guys bash into me. So, let's hit play. Ah, cavalry sat back here. So where are they going to hit? Hopefully this overlapping bit. Slight miss. But, let's take our line and pivot it. Let's 
pick some better targets for our artillery. So here comes the combined... That's a lot of cavalry. Okay, where's my... Pike man, you get over here. Yeah, my Mamluks are probably still useful over on this flank, because they do still have cavalry. Okay, keep bombarding in the centre, because their cavalry's charging in and probably won't be able to hit them in time. Beautiful hit. It's the provincial cav on that flanks going down well. So you're definitely going to hunker down in in uh, square formation on the flank. We've got an infantry charge in the centre. Cav charge in the centre somewhere. No, don't shoot them. Charge them. So we've got a charge, a melee charge coming at the front. These guys are being hit in square formation, but it's a, no being hit by a cavalry charge, but it's a very open cavalry charge. Let's blast these infantry. Second bands are tearing them apart. Plenty more cavalry where that came comes from though. Run my pike in to cover the square formation. And then they'll form into a square formation. Let's bring my cavalry over here to go hunting some of these routing Austrian troops. Everyone pour fire into the marines. Let's pull my sec bands back. You two guys hop into square, you hit down to the warband. Well, you know of Swiss Grenadiers back there as well. Start to target some of the, the reinforcements coming in. Now we're going to have to hit the Hussars. The distinct depression there after us from the from the get go anyway. Throw in our pikes, mace are ready to get back into square. Don't commit my cavalry into the fight. Because damn. In a battlefield of cavalry, what you don't want to see is a whole bunch of pikes show up. You guys smash into the Dragoons. It's a Death's Head Hussars, no less. Oh, they killed that sec ban. As my glorious Dragoons charge in. I could have left them there because they were firing into the back of the combat, which, I th which was very helpful for me. Okay, I'm going to pull these men back. It looks like they're starting to advance on more of a broad front. Yes, more cavalry for the blood god. Let's bring my cavalry into the back of this combat. They're about to be countercharged by another regiment of horse. Okay, so. Start straightening out my formation a bit. Not super efficient, but. 
only do what we can do. We definitely do need to pivot our... Get everyone after this last regiment of horse. May even pull my Mameluke guards out of that. God damn. Okay, let's hit the Marines with my cavalry. This artillery needs to revert back to round shot and begin engaging targets along the flank. Okay, so this is gonna this is a this is an absolute mess. So let's get my janissaries to start bombarding reinforcing units. So my cavalry's out. My Sorelli is still in. My pikemen are still in because they love a brawl like this. And who wouldn't against two units of cavalry? Why are you firing? Must have picked the wrong... or accidentally changed my... Uh, I think I did. Okay, you bombard Fusilier Regiment. You bombard some of these guerrilla mercenaries. Push these men up. Let's run my cavalry back so they don't decoy too many of their infantry around. So let's get my guards in position. Probably going to make. Okay, good. So you guys can fall back. My line can readdress. I'll even bring my cavalry back. Let's bring this cavalry out. Let's go hit the guerrilla mercenaries. Let's get one of my howitzers to try and start to knock out the 8th regiment. The Austrians and the Prussians fighting on the same side. So my pikemen and, and my Israeli, my pikemen and my sekban jet get out. Get out of the maelstrom, that's a lot of dead cavalry bodies. Smash into the guerrilla mercenaries. I hope I can get these guys around the flank to engage the 14th. Obviously the 47th have been hammered. There we go, there go the guerrillas. Charge men. They do have some grenadiers here, so. Might not be a good idea, but meh. Make things a bit interesting. So you hit the 8th. You target my artillery to focus on the. This particular flank, artillery both hit that infantry regiment there. And the pikemen are wavering, so it's probably a bad idea. Yep, yeah, there they go. My sec bands are going to go. Just pull my sec bands out. Oh, they've already routed anyway. Yeah, that little push didn't work.
Let's get my men involved. We need to get ready to push around and protect this flank. Let's give them the bulk of our howitzer support. These experienced Mamelukes are doing a good job, but a bit more infantry support can't hurt. So much so, these Mamelukes, once they're done, is going to go around, get on to, uh, they can't even do chasing, fleeing unit duty. Got some provincial cav loose back there. Come on, 8th Regiment. Cavalry continue to engage. Who doesn't like destroying an entire Prussian line regiment? So you guys pull back. Don't worry, we're trying to give you support. Get the sect band janissaries over here. Finish killing off their regiment. There we go. Now you've got to pick what flank you're going to focus fire on. And I don't think you're going to like any of the options. As the fire burns in the grass. The snakes! Oh, the snakes! Drop some artillery on this little cluster for a start. Still waiting on one guy. Okay, you kill this unit quickly. Come and hit those guerrilla mercenaries. Because my low morale troops won't like being shot in the rear. Excellent. There you go, look, they're literally back to back. Engaging enemies. He's going to form squ- No, they're not form square. They are also back to back. Can you hit? Yeah, you are engaging. Come on, 47. You can only put out a limited amount of volleys. certainly help. Hey, and here comes the cavalry. Wounded cavalry. Destroyed cavalry. I think we've just got to uh, accept the fact that our best chance now is just to pound these guys into the dirt. It wasn't even the Prussians fight. These aren't many grenadiers. They're down to 63 men from 188, although they're about to pour some good fire and they have better morale than my men. So who have we got left? Marines, 14th Regiment, 35th Regiment. They're all very upset. Gun teams being wounded by uh, collateral damage. Okay, you three push up close. These three can 
completely encirclement like so. Well, not completely encirclement. Although we definitely could. So let's take these three men, secure the tree line. These three men. Come along like so. So my cavalry, or the supporting cavalry, you go in over here with these Mamelukes, because you guys are going to be who uh, support the destruction of the last provincial cav regiment. Although they will rout. Yeah, that's the end of that. So let's try and you guys on these guys they're out of artillery range but I want to try see if I can I want to try see if I can make them oh, is there... there are mercenaries still alive bombard them with artillery They probably won't stick around for very long. There you go now everyone, go kill this last unit of Provincial Horse. And the General was over here. You intercept those mercenaries and hold fire. Oh, that, was the, that was the Austrian uh, general back here. Oh, let's end it there. Everyone's, everyone's gone, pretty much. It was an interesting push that, they, that the Austrian attempted to do to draw them into battle when they lost 4,000 men. Well, the, the, the entire force lost 4,000 men. There's definitely, be, definitely an argument to be said to push, but I don't want to overextend myself, I'm not in the centre of their line. Military alliance with less money? No. Oh, the Swedes are pushing on Paris. Not Swedes, the Swedes. The Spanish are pushing on Paris, which is exactly what we need, because that's opening up opening up our enemies fronts so they're having to they're being forced to uh, to spin around and face the Spanish okay we definitely want to uh, replenish our forces all of them and the Russian grouping around Crimea is, is growing. So we've got to be ready to go in there and lance that particular boil. But I think, in the grand scheme, things are going very well. So... I do notice our cash is still going down, so we do need to keep investing in all of our towns. I don't necessarily want, no I don't want you to have roads yet. Like our new regions need to really uh, step up. So I'm just going to go and just not to maintain for now. Let's push this guy up to Komi because we know there's no one in Ufa. Oh yeah. So when I said I need to do loads of replenishment, and I just meet the first thing I did was not replenish. You march up. 
put Kiev under siege for now. Okay, you go over here then instead. Ahmad Siri, you are probably a good candidate to drive towards Crimea. Yeah, I think I need to go back to my... back to here and pretty much cancel building these recruitment buildings because we do need to just spend money on keeping our armies up together. Or as up together as they can be. Now, are you expecting anyone? No one immediately springs to mind. Okay, so you want melee infantry... Probably heavy cavalry. So these guys, probably who we want. Two of those to help break the heavier enemy cavalry and. Okay, let's. Let's remove you guys out. We don't need four cavalry. Not against a European army. Instead, maybe we might get a unit of three, four pounders and two melee units. Islamic swordsmen, because they're all they're thirteen turns of recruitment. They're 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 far far away. Pikemen aren't okay. One pikeman for cavalry. One. See, I do just like semi Janissaries. It's just a a solid melee infantry unit. Um, but I think I'm going to take... Although it's never really a good idea to attack when you're going to have to spend a turn not being able to reinforce. So let's take you. Just also that battle as a quick, as a quick one. Ah, we do actually have a small army out here to the e to the west. But don't worry, we are about to develop Zaritsin, which is probably going to be far away. Okay, let's hit N10 first. <laughs> nope. Don't want your technology. If there's one thing I don't need, it's your technology. Ottoman scientists and researchers are doing a stellar job themselves. No need for foreign Western intervention. See, here come the Prussians. What are they going to do? They're going to blockade one of my ports. All the way there to blockade one of my ports. Don't worry, Moscow. We're going to have you. Obviously, that arm. He's going to sneak around. This is why we have our smaller filler army to... Uh, ooh. <laughs> Didn't like what they saw. Okay. The pirates are going to be the pirates. You were down to 10 grand. Okay, let's get this priest on a long walk to Berlin. Port blockaded, Batumi blockaded by a war galleon. I still think it's pretty neat. We've done all we've done without actually having a, f a proper navy. We, we probably should have a better navy, but you can see we're currently at war on pretty much every front. Jesus Christ! 
that war galleon was crewed by like Russell Crowe himself. It just blew apart our navy. Well, guess what we're going to be buying this turn. Don't worry, we're going to start to... Uh... <laughs> this... Jesus, god damn. Okay, can't buy another second rate because I do need two. Make sure we're... Because it's two Hussars and a line infantry. They can raid and be annoying. Not if I put together a ragtag package of Feline and Sipahi. Can you guys just go knock out that wandering stack? Or push them back at least, then that'll do. They can be backed up by these Mamelukes. You're going to continue pushing. You're not going to attack them to induce a river battle yet. That's a lot of artillery. Okay, you pretty much just want three Nizam infantry. Although it's probably actually cheaper or easier for me to... Uh, Recruit them in Ankara and ship them across the Black Sea. No, nope. there's a Janissaries. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I'm sure I could. No, I've not built. Okay. They are here in Istanbul with also obviously some of these mounted dragoons which we need to explore. There we go. We'll ship those across the Black Sea over to here, where they can be easily exploited. Spend some money fixing Kazan, grading the farms, keep the Turkish bath, because why not? It means we can take this army, march them onto Ufa, and they're already, they're still happy with us. You push up. No enemy forces near Komi. Astrakhan has no religious unhappiness, so this guy can push up to... Maybe even Moscow itself. See if we can uh, push the needle a bit, especially if everything's been broken and raided. We might be able to increase religious unhappiness. Lots of good buildings built. Our spies are on there. Doing, they're doing the spying. 22 grand. So this little port is actually worth... It's worth 8,000, this this little trade route. Um, okay, but I think we want to look at Mr. Yashi. And we're going to hit to Kiev. But, looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the assault on the current Russian capital of Kiev. Cheers, everyone.